Yeah, I knew this. A growing problem that's prompted the Federal Trade Commission to deem this Identity Theft Awareness Week. So to help you spot the scams and avoid becoming a victim, we're joined now by security this expert Adam Cochran. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Okay, let's get right to it because most people don't know uh, that credit like card I got like what, six credit. I got five credentials and a plaque or some this. stuff like that. That's, so one of the ways is to that's not eliminating me. <laughs> but uh, congratulations to him. It's really as much rhetoric and propaganda as it is with hyping people's emotions up and trying to claim on the and trying to aim people that you know really about it. You know, it's a way for the world. You're giving me away from money to be around or whatever. I don't have money. I don't have to hoard money. Yes, the credit, credit card bureau. Like so many bureaus will allow you to place a freeze to, like, or you lock on your credit. So since you mean that they won't well, issue credit and they won't open up new accounts like without like your permission, like without like unlocking that account or telling the provider which you just cheap, you are credit or what type of credit line that you're seeking to get. Many times you're fine. It's a consumer awareness component of the credit bureau. Or if you've been a victim of identity theft, you need to be sure to get away with your motivating factor from my account. But if your account is a lot of things, you're trying to buy a car or make some kind of big purchase. They try to portray it like it's me that's obsessed with the opposite sex. And it's like, I like girls. Don't get it wrong. Not really. 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 Not